All right, so let's try to parse the definition or the Wikipedia definition of reference together and, and, and look at the, the parts that are significant for us. And, and this, is, this is the article on references in computer science, right? Um, and so let's just read this first, then we'll talk about what the different words mean and kind of what we need to focus on. So it says, in computer science, reference is a value that enables a program to indirectly access a particular data, piece of data, such as a variable's value or a record in the computer's memory or the storage. Like, eh, some of this, you know, we, we don't need to worry about where it is. The reference is said to refer to the, to the data and accessing the data is called dereferencing the reference. A reference is distinct from the data itself, from the value. Um, and then it talks about how, how some things uh, are, are, you know, in how references are implemented and then, you know, more broadly in networking references, maybe network addresses such as URLs. So this is a very, very general and very powerful concept. And the idea is that I give you something that you can use to access something else. It's a reference, right? So, you know, uh, uh, and, and this, this word is very, um, very appropriate, right? So, like if, if you are asked to list references as part of a paper, what are those references? It's a, it's a short piece of information that allows me to find something else, right? When you list a reference to, you know, something from the, uh, one of the volumes of the Library of Congress or something like that, you're, you're not including the whole document. You're just giving somebody a, a reference that they can use to find the particular piece of information that you cited or that you're using to support your argument or whatever. Um, I have a couple of analogies I like to use of references. So one is, you know, a, an address, uh, an address uh, to a, a house. That's a reference. It's not the house. I can make lots of copies of the addresses of the address to my house and give them to a bunch of people, and I still only have one house. Now that address allows people to find my house, right? So you punch in the, the digits into Google Maps, and you'd be able to find your way here, right? Um, so it allows someone to refer to the house and changes made to the house by people using a reference are visible to other people that have the same reference. So for example, recently we had uh, an addition put on to our fence because we have a dog that can, a small dog that can apparently jump like four feet straight up. Um, so the fence went up. The person that we had do the fencing, we gave our address. They came and they installed a new addition to the fence. Everybody else, you know, friends of mine who come over, they see that addition. They have my address, they come to my house, they see the change. So what we'll see when we start working with references in uh, Kotlin is that the references actually uh, allow us to make changes to things that are visible to other people that have the same reference. And that's the most important thing to kind of try to get across here is the difference between the reference and the object itself. The reference is not the object. When I copy the reference, I don't copy the object. I just have two references to the same object. And any changes made via one reference are also visible by the other in ways that we'll review uh, in the rest of this lesson.